Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a custom Alexa skill that uses data from an external API. And I'm going to do that using a template from skilltemplates.com. And I'll walk through the, uh, the code in the skill template and show you how you can modify it easily to call different APIs and, and get uh, different data. To follow along with this, you're going to need to have the Alexa Skills Kit CLI. If um, you're going to need to have that installed and configured, if you don't have that installed and configured, go to uh, skilltemplates.com. Uh, let's see. And there's a link, this getting started link here. Just go to the getting started link in there is a uh, another tutorial that walks through setting up the ask CLI and configuring it. So once you have that all set up, you'll be ready to go and we can go ahead and get started. So um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is uh, use the ask CLI to um, load the template code or to, to get the template code. So that's ask new and then um, template dash dash template and then dash dash URL, oops. And then the URL is HTTPS uh, skill templates dot com and then slash templates dot JSON, just like that. And there's uh, this first template here, API starter is the one that we're gonna be using for this tutorial. And when you do that, it will pull down the, uh, the, the skill template. And at this point, it's, um, it's ready to go. So you can just go ahead and do move into the, uh, the folder. So CD into the folder and then um, ask deploy, and then it would deploy the skill. So why don't I do that first just to show you what it's doing. So ask. So we'll deploy it. And while that is deploying, because that'll take a minute, I'm gonna just uh, quickly walk through and show you what's going on in here. So this is a really um, pretty simple skill. It's just been updated recently to use the Alexa Skills Kit uh, SDK 2.0. So the, the latest version of the SDK. And the, the default code is using this um, open notify to get a list of the current astronauts in space. And so let's go over and check that out. So this is what, this is the, the API that it's calling. And this API is really simple. It just provides, like I said, a, a current list of astronauts that are in space right now. And uh, so what's happening here is there is a, function down here called get remote data and this get remote data is using the uh, the built-in node modules for either HTTP or HTTPS depending on what the URL um, provides and then it's going and just getting the response back from that URL and in this case the response is JSON so uh, what's going on here is the response that's coming back. This is just the raw content is uh, being parsed into this variable here, data. And then at that point, that data object can be used to uh, construct the response back. And so right now, I think it's all done uh, deploying. So we'll, um, we'll go ahead and test it out. So let's go over here to developer.amazon.com and uh, this you need an account an, an amazon developer account you also need a, an aws account to follow along on this that's all covered in the uh, the walkthrough for setting up the ask cli but just in case you uh, don't have that so i'm logged into the developer account now and i've deployed the template so i can see it here uh, it's called api starter and by default, the invocation name is also called uh, API Starter. So the uh, invocation name here. And so if I test this out, um, there are currently six astronauts in space. Their names are 
Oleg Artemyev, Andrew Feustel, Richard Arnold, Sergei Prokopiev, Alexander Gerst, and Serena Anand Chancellor. Okay, so um, so pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Let me um, let me show you how you could easily modify this if you wanted to use it to um, change it up and maybe uh, get data from another API. So I'm gonna uh, let's see. I'm gonna just change this. I'm gonna rename it the, the folder. You don't have to rename the folder, but I, I'm gonna do that just because it keep, keeps things organized. And I'm gonna create one called random. Oops. Random quote. And there's a couple of things that you're going to need to change. Um, first, you'll need to change the name of the Lambda function, which you can get to in this .ask folder, the config file, and then the URI here. So leave ask custom and just change like API starter to random quote. And the second thing that you need to change is the invocation name so that you can open it with whatever name you want to, uh, to use. And I'll call this random quote for the example. Like that. Um, and then you could change the samples in here also, although it's right now it's set up to, um, yeah, you could you, you could change the the samples if you wanted to. It, it it opens by default on the launch request, so I don't know that that would make much difference. But we'll leave that for right now. And the other thing is uh, in the skill.json down here. This is where you would change all of the details. So. Uh, you would want to change all of this information that, so that it would uh, uh, pertain to whatever skill you're creating here. So the name, I'll just change this just to, to show you. I'll call it random. And because I already deployed this, I'm going to just get rid of the skill ID here so that it creates a new skill rather than overwriting the one that I just deployed. So now I've changed everything and if I redeploy, it should now create a new skill um, and the new skill should be called random quote. And it looks like it's done creating the skill so we can go back out here and check. Yeah, so there you can see is my new skill random quote. And if I go in here, I should see my Looks like this is still building, but uh, you can see the invocation name there is going to be random quote. So this is done building. It's probably close to or almost done deploying the Lambda function, which it's doing right now. Let's go out to AWS and take a look here. So this is um, in my AWS console here, and this is my, uh, my list of Lambda functions, and you can see the um, the, the first function when I deployed it the first time is this one here, API starter, which is the default. And then it created a new function when I changed the, um, the Lambda name in the config file here. And so now if, uh, if all is working, I can go over here and test this out and say, um, open random quote. I haven't changed the code, so I'm still going to get a list of astronauts. There are currently six astronauts in space. Their names are Oleg Artemyev, Andrew Feustel, Richard Arnold, Sergei Prokopiev, Alexander Gerst, and Serena Anand Chancellor. Okay, so um, so I've got the, the same skill, but just with a different name now. Uh, what I'm going to do for the example is just go use a different API. And in this case, I'm going to use this Talicus, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. But um, the, uh, this, uh, you are, this API here provides just a random quote. And so um, I've got this JSON coming back here with a quote property, an author, and some other stuff. And so if I wanted to change this, I would just 
copy the URL, go to my um, go to my code here, and uh, let's see, go into Lambda, and I'm gonna get rid of this here, or I'm gonna change this. This is calling the uh, the API, and then this stuff down here, I don't need anymore. Uh, but I do need to change the output here. So um, I'm going to do something like, I'll just paste this in here. Like this. So I'm just changing the output speech. Um, the uh, this variable value here. So uh, the, it's going to respond back with your random quote is and then uh, data dot quote, which is this value, and then data dot uh, author is that over here. So with that, I can just redeploy this time. I'm going to use dash T to just deploy the Lambda because that's all that's changing and that'll make it go a little bit quicker. Okay, and if I go back over here now and redo this, I'll show you a, a trick for redoing this. So there you can see your random quote is, I wanted to be a doctor, so. Your random quote is, I wanted to be a doctor that I might be able to work without having to talk because for years I had been giving myself out in words. This is a quote from Albert Schweitzer. And so um, now if we resubmit it, we'll get a new quote. And uh, so that, um, that is it. I'll do one more just to walk through the steps again. Um, but it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty simple. So the, the last one I'll do, close this stuff down, is... Um, the last one I'll do is, let's see, we'll do one that is gonna be, I'll copy this time, just paste here. And this one I'll call crypto prices and we'll get like cryptocurrency prices. So we'll create a, a whole new skill called crypto prices same steps first you want to go in here and you want to change the lambda name and i'm going to change this to crypto prices and save that and then i want to change the invocation name so i'm going to go in the model here and change this to crypto prices And uh, you want to change the, the details for the skill in here. I'm going to just change the name. You would want to, if you were doing a live skill, you would want to change all of this, of course. Uh, crypto prices. And for this one, I'm going to use uh, an API that provides a list of crypto prices. So this is a, this one's gonna work a little bit different here. So this is um, an API endpoint uh, from coinmarketcap.com and it provides a, a list of current prices for lots of different cryptocurrencies. And I'm just interested in Bitcoin for this example, but we could go through all of these. So um, what I'm gonna do here is uh, take that URL first of all, copy that, and then go change up my Lambda here. So in here, I'm gonna replace this URL with the URL that I'm calling, and then this down here, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just change this up, and you would just, I'm just pasting it in because to save time, but you would just change the output uh, speech here and the output speech that I'm going to use or value is the current price of data the first item in that array and I'm going to get the name of that which would be so like the first item would be this item here 
and the name is going to be Bitcoin. And then the uh, the other thing that I want is the, the price underscore USD. So I'm using that in here too. So I'm going to um, speak back or Alexa is the current price of whatever the name is for the top cryptocurrency is, and then the current price, which is Bitcoin right now. So um, let's see, the other thing that I need to do is, so I don't overwrite, I forgot to do this earlier. I should have done this when I changed the name, but I don't want to overwrite that existing skill. So I want to get rid of the skill ID here. And um, now I can, uh, just deploy that like that and we'll go out and just see this to make sure it's good should have three skills in here now so now there's the the one that we just created crypto prices and that is probably still building the model um, let's check. So our invocation name is going to be crypto prices. Model is still building. When that finishes up, it will uh, publish the Lambda function, which this takes a minute. So we'll let that finish up. Looks like that's done now. I'll come back over here and it looks like everything is done. Let me just go and check here to make sure in my AWS. Yeah, so there it is. Our crypto prices skill service is there. So now we can uh, we can go test it out. So if I go test here, say open the current price of Bitcoin is six thousand seven hundred twenty seven point one three. So yeah, so that's it. I'd, I'd probably want to, if I was going to um, make this a live skill, I'd probably want to use uh, SSML to, to, to say this in currency, so to say it, uh, so it's not 0.13, but say it in dollars or something like that. But um, I think that does it for this, uh, this tutorial. So that was a quick walkthrough of how you can use the skill templates API starter template to quickly create a skill that gets data from an external API. The skill templates, um, they're, they're really designed to just provide you with a, a tool for learning or quickly creating skills. And uh, with the Ask SDK 2.0, there's been a lot of changes. So again, this one has been updated and um, you can use that as, as a reference or a starting point for creating a new skill. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if it was, please, um, like the video and if you have any questions or comments you can leave those and i'll reply just as quick as i can thanks so much